Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In previous classes, we learned the proofs of sin 90 degrees minus theta, cos 90 degrees minus theta, tan 90 degrees minus theta and sin 90 degrees plus theta, cos 90 degrees plus theta, tan 90 degrees plus theta and sin 180 degrees minus theta, cos 180 degrees minus theta, tan 180 degrees minus theta and sin 180 degrees plus theta, cos 180 degrees plus theta, tan 180 degrees plus theta. All those proofs we learned in previous classes. In this class, we will learn the proofs of sin 270 degrees minus theta, cos 270 degrees minus theta, tan 270 degrees minus theta, all those things. Now, you observe this diagram. Initially, I considered a circle with center O and radius R. You observe the initial ray OA. This is the initial ray OA. I rotated OA through an angle theta such that the ray OP is formed. I considered the point P as x, y. Then the six trigonometric functions are defined as follows. Sin theta is y coordinate of the point divided by radius of the circle. Cos theta is defined as x coordinate of the point divided by radius of the circle. Tan theta is defined as y coordinate of the point divided by x coordinate of the point. Like that all six trigonometric functions are defined. Now it is important we must get the coordinates of point M to find sin 270 degrees minus theta. To get the coordinates of point M you must know the coordinates of point R. To get the coordinates of point R you must know coordinates of point P dash. This we already discussed in previous classes. If you want you please check that videos or else I given some information here. You can understand this easily. P dash is in first quadrant. That's why it is y comma x. R is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, we know that x coordinate is negative. That means this will become minus y comma x. I hope you are understanding. If the point P dash is y comma x, then the point R is minus y comma x. If the point R we know, then we can write the point M. Please try to understand. If I draw the vertical line, if I draw the vertical line, this R and M lies on the same line. So if you know the point R, you can find out what is point M because both the points are on the circle. This point M is in third quadrant. In third quadrant, both coordinates are negative. That means what are the coordinates of M? By seeing coordinates of R, I am writing here. Coordinates of M is minus Y comma minus X. Okay. Now, uh, you see here, now we got the coordinates of M. What is the angle made by OM with X axis? What is the angle made by OM with X axis? Please observe, this full angle is 270 degrees. This full angle is 270 degrees. Okay, what angle I chosen here? Same angle theta I taken here. So, this full angle is 270 degrees. If I remove this theta, this OM makes an angle 270 degrees minus theta with x axis. OM makes an angle 270 degrees minus theta with x axis. I hope you understand this. Now, sin 270 degrees minus theta. Initially, sin theta is defined as y coordinate of the point divided by radius of the circle. Sin 270 degrees minus theta means y coordinate of point M divided by radius of the circle. What is y coordinate of point M? y coordinate of point M is minus x divided by radius of the circle. That equal to minus x by r. What is x by r? x by r is cos theta. Therefore, sin 270 degrees minus theta is minus cos theta. Now, cos 270 degrees minus theta. Initially, cos theta is defined as x coordinate of the point divided by radius of the circle. Cos 270 degrees minus theta means x coordinate of point M divided by radius of the circle. X coordinate of point M is minus y divided by radius of the circle that equal to minus y by r. What is y by r? y by r is sin theta. Therefore, cos 270 degrees minus theta is minus sin theta. Now we will see what is tan 270 degrees minus theta. Initially tan theta is defined as y coordinate of the point divided by x coordinate of the point. 
tan 270 degrees minus theta means y coordinate of point m divided by x coordinate of the point. y coordinate of the point m is minus x divided by x coordinate of the point is minus f y. So minus minus will get cancelled. This will become x by y. What is x by y? x by y is cot theta. Therefore, tan 270 degrees minus theta is cot theta. Now, cot 270 degrees minus theta. Initially, cot theta is defined as cot theta is defined as x coordinate of the point divided by y coordinate of the point. Cot 270 degrees minus theta means x coordinate of this point divided by y coordinate of the point. x coordinate of point m is minus m divided by y coordinate of point m is minus x. Here minus minus will get cancelled. You will get y by x. y by x. Initially what is y by x? y by x is tan theta. Now we will see what is cosecant 270 degrees minus theta. Cosecant 270 degrees minus theta is defined as radius of the circle divided by y coordinate of point m. y coordinate of point m is minus x that equal to minus r by x. What is r by x? r by x is secant theta. Therefore cosecant 270 degrees minus theta is minus secant theta. Now we will see what is secant 270 degrees minus theta. Initially secant theta is defined as radius divided by x coordinate of the point. Here x coordinate of point m is minus y that equal to minus r by y. What is r by y? r by y is cosecant theta. Therefore secant 270 degrees minus theta is minus cosecant theta.